All right guys, so what is it gonna cost us to make a website like this and get our e-commerce business online for everyone with this nice content? Well, first off, if you contacted a web designer in your town and had them build this for you, it would cost an unknown amount of money because we're not sure how much they'll charge you, whether it's hundreds or thousands. It would take an undefined amount of time because we're not sure how quickly someone would operate and whether they'd have other clients. And we're not even sure how everything would work. And when you got the final product, if something broke, you wouldn't even be sure how to fix it. All right, so because we're doing it ourselves, you're gonna be in control of the cost. You can decide when this website gets built and you have this whole demo sitting here for you that you can skip around in and use whenever you'd like. And don't worry, every tool and feature I've chosen is beginner friendly. Anyone who can surf the web and follow directions can do this. And you're going to know what to do if something breaks because I will stick around and help people in the comments like we've done with all my other previous videos. I try to help out everyone who is bold enough to post a comment or ask a question. Alright, so let's talk costs. The first thing we absolutely need is a domain name. If you have one already, I'll show you how to use it. And if you need a new one, we're going to buy one for $15.00. Per year, it's an annual price, and we're going to get it from GoDaddy. GoDaddy is great. They are always my choice for domain names these days. And that's part because I think they're the experts on domain names, and part because I know of two places called Retail Me Not and Fat Wallet, where you can sometimes find domain name coupons and get discounts. Next, we're going to need hosting also known as web hosting or self hosting or just hosting for short and that we're gonna get for about ten dollars per month that's a monthly cost that we all have to pay we're gonna get that from hostgator.com the same folks I've used ever since I started building with WordPress to host websites for clients family friends and of course myself speaking of coupons I have a coupon you can use to save 45% on your first invoice at HostGator whether you register for a year or two years or six months you can use my coupon dear blogger 2015 just like that to save 45% on your hosting and that's just because 2015 was a great year for hosting and uh, we get a great coupon because of it if that doesn't work do please try Dear Blogger 2016. And I should note that if you use that particular coupon to sign up at HostGator, I'll earn a small affiliate commission at no extra cost to you just for recommending their services. Hosting is a competitive world these days. There's a lot of good providers and uh, I get paid to refer people to HostGator because I truly believe in and use their services. And uh, Thanks very much. I haven't had a problem with them thus far in all my years, and they always help me when I have a question. All right, we could probably do ourselves a favor and make this bigger, so let's do that. The next thing we need to set up is WordPress. We're gonna use HostGator's one-click WordPress install. That's what it's called, quote unquote, one-click WordPress install, to install WordPress onto our hosting space. Hosting is just some virtual storage space. And WordPress is free. This is the .org version, also known as the self-hosted version. Also the same thing. Used by massive brands like New York Times, CNN, Forbes, Reuters, uh, Best Buy, Katy Perry, all these good companies. And if you want to search even more, I'll show you a cool little uh, gem on the wordpress.org site you can click showcase and view other new sites that are coming up that use wordpress like sony walt disney and then you can click visit site just for real proof that wordpress can do these amazing things pretty cool All right, back to business. So WordPress is free, and despite what you might have heard, it's incredibly easy to use. You don't need to know any coding or have any previous tech experience. It's all been 
made very user friendly because it's the number one CMS. Even though there are other good CMSs out there, great ones in fact. All right, next up we need our theme, and this part is optional. Every WordPress website runs on a specific theme, which is the overall look. It's the colors, like the blue, the way the logo is positioned with the navigation menu. It's the borders, and it really can determine if your life is easy or not when you build. So let's check out the theme that we're going to use today. It's on Theme Forest. Not sure if you've heard of them. But it's where I've started a lot of my WordPress websites and gotten the designs. And if we click under WordPress, e-commerce, and sort by best sellers, we'll find our theme. It's one of the best sellers. It was a tough choice between Flatsum, the number one bestseller, and our theme. But, you know, sometimes you gotta use the one that your heart tells you to use. And it's called Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor has everything that we need and nothing that we don't need. The reason I chose this theme over Flatsum is because I do think it's better suited for 2016. Mr. Taylor has things like a hero image instead of an image slider, the same page cart, and a full screen responsive layout that I think are going to be in for 2016. Just a little prediction I'm making and I think you're going to love it. Uh, look around some more on Theme Forest if you want to find a new look. It can get a little overwhelming, but you can always click Live Preview and check out a theme. So this is one thing you could build with the theme we're going to make. The cost of Mr. Taylor is $59, which we can see here. You get six months of support from the developers, and I'll give you the link where you can get support through their portal. I'll give you that link in the video notes. Um, but like I said, I think you're going to love it. The reason the theme is optional is because after you install WordPress, there are hundreds if not thousands of free themes you can use to make your website and to make an online store. If you want to use a free theme, you can search on YouTube for create online store website. And then click through to this tutorial right here where we use the free theme called Storefront to build our website. Make your online store in 10 easy steps in 10 minutes using WordPress. And you get to hear some music too. All right, so that part is optional, although, you know, I think it's gonna be great. And it's called Mr. Taylor. I'll give you a link to that theme in the video notes as well, along with everything else. And that link will be an affiliate link, so if you choose to use the theme and sign up through my link, I'll get a small portion of the theme donated back to me at no cost to you, uh, which helps me keep making free videos for everyone and keep doing what I'm doing. So I really appreciate it. Just had to tell everyone that as well. And then lastly, our content is necessary, and our content is free. We're going to get free images and icons and video content to use. And perhaps most importantly, I've picked out 10 to 15 free plugins to use, which will help our site do amazing things. A plugin is just an extension to WordPress that adds something like social media or this little heart icon or makes you rank better in Google, uh, things like that can be done with a plugin. And some people don't know which plugins to choose. I certainly didn't when I first started on WordPress, but I do now. And we've bundled together a lot of plugins that we're going to install for free um, to set your website apart and to make it do more. I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. I will finish by saying that plugins are, in my opinion, what really make WordPress stand out from other e-commerce softwares that want to get our business online. That's because plugins let us do stuff for free that other companies charge for. Um, when you put in the work and you install WordPress, you get access to plugins. And when you quote unquote cop out and use a really easy to set up software that you see advertised for on TV, they're going to make you pay for plugins later on and everything's going to add up because you 
you know, decided to go the easier route at the start. So we're not going to do that. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun. All right, so let's do it. That all said, the total bill on our e-commerce website today using WordPress that we could have designed by a web designer who might charge us X amount of dollars, 500, 1,000, 5,000, I don't even know. Our total bill is going to come out to, do that math quick in my head, I believe that is $84. Just 15 plus 10 plus 59. It's a low price because all of our other content is free too, like all the images and buttons. The promotional images I'll show you how to create for free, the logo I'll show you how to create for free, and uh, everything else you see can be found around the web if you know where to look. Alright, so don't worry about that. All you have to worry about is this $84, and you don't even need to get the theme. You could just get the domain and the hosting, and then it would be 25 bucks. In either case, it's going to be less than 100 I know I've spent $100 on far sillier things than an e-commerce website and the overall goal is that your site and your amazing product will make this money back for you because you're doing a good job setting up your site and you're building yourself a good foundation from which you can launch any product you want and hopefully make a good amount of profit from that product. Can't stress that enough. I'm just going to touch up our list here. All right, and we're good to go. For the visual learners, what we're gonna do today with our domain name, our hosting, our install WordPress, our install theme, and our content can be laid out like this. So we first need a domain name like godaddy.com or google.com or youtube.com. Because it's uh, 2016, we can't get youtube.com. That was actually registered in February of 2005. So you're gonna have to be a little bit clever and ask me a question. But once you get that domain name, we're just gonna do one step to point it at the hosting space. So YouTube represents our domain name, or our .com, and these storage files off in the desert somewhere represent our hosting. HostGator is managing our hosting, as we can see by the alligator snappy right here. And with these two things connected, we have a safe and stable environment to install WordPress. We're gonna install WordPress then on to the hosting. All these pages and these search features and web pages and stuff like that are going to go on to the hosting. All right, so domain name points to the hosting. WordPress gets installed onto the hosting and then we build it on there. And that's really the three things you need. WordPress is so capable, we use it to add images, to write text, to do everything you do in Microsoft Word pretty much and more. And by the way, once you set up your domain name and hosting together, you're just going to need to log in through WordPress every day and blog or write blog posts or make web pages or just dominate the web. You don't need to log into your hosting or your domain name if you don't want to. And you don't need to walk over tons of cords in your living room to do this kind of stuff. You'll just log in through the WordPress login page. These little chalk sticks over here are just used to represent how you can make short-term changes to the web. Every time you edit your Facebook profile or upload to Facebook or write a Yahoo review or a tweet, you're actually changing the web and editing a website. You're just doing it on their website. You're making the change on their end, which means that they own your content. What we want to do is have something we can call our own website and once we have that ready, we'll let Facebook and Twitter and Google and maybe even Pinterest onto the website.